Marvel fans, the next few years are going to be jam-packed with incredible superhero action. The Marvel Cinematic Universe is set to deliver a slew of exciting films in 2024 and 2025, and we've got all the details you need. Let's dive into what's in store for us. Deadpool 3, May 3rd, 2024. The announcement that the third installment of the comedic X-rated franchise is being penned by the former writers of Bob's Burgers, Lizzie Molyneux, Legolin and Wendy Molyneux has sparked curiosity about the potential storyline. It's open to various possibilities, but one intriguing theory is that the film might subtly introduce the X-Men into the narrative. This speculation hinges on Deadpool's unique knack for breaking the fourth wall, which could allow him to be the only character aware of a significant reality-altering event. His quest to unravel this mysterious change and understand its implications could serve as an engaging plot. This storyline could be centered around the resurrection of Vanessa or the revelation that she never existed in this altered reality. While specific plot details remain undisclosed, Kevin Feige confirmed in early 2021 that the film was in development and would maintain an R rating, though production would be postponed. Sean Levy signed on to take the director's chair for the upcoming Deadpool film. To make things even more exciting, the talented writing duo behind Deadpool and Deadpool 2, Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick, returned to further refine the script. Then in late September 2022, Ryan Reynolds himself, in a typical Deadpool fashion, teased fans with a brief video on Twitter. In the video, he humorously confessed that he had no clue what to do for the character's third outing, except for one hilarious idea, asking Hugh Jackman to reprise his role as Wolverine one more time. The teaser concluded with the announcement of a release date set for September 6th, 2024. However, Disney later decided to shift the release date first to November 2024 and then to May of the following year. In February 2023, Emma Corrin, known for her role in The Crown, joined the cast as the film's antagonist. The following month, Matthew McFadden from Succession also hopped on board. In May, Rob Delaney confirmed his return in the role as Peter, the only completely human member of X-Force. Additionally, Morena Baccarin, Brianna Hildebrand, Shirley Kutsuna, Leslie Uggams and Stefan Kapicic were all confirmed to reprise their roles from the previous Deadpool films. Notably, Jennifer Garner is set to make an appearance as Elektra, a character she previously portrayed in two other outings. Early set photos provided an exciting glimpse into the film with Hugh Jackman seen sporting a remarkably authentic Wolverine costume. In one intriguing scene, he and Deadpool were captured exploring the remains of the old 20th Century Fox logo. These visuals hinted at the film's potential to play with the characters' new status as part of the Disney universe, promising some playful meta-commentary. Captain America Brave New World, July 26, 2024 Right after the thrilling conclusion of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, fans received exciting news. The show's writers, Malcolm Spellman and Dalen Musson, wasted no time and began crafting the script for the fourth Captain America film. This installment will continue to follow the journey of Sam Wilson, portrayed by Anthony Mackey, who officially signed on for the role in August 2021. The film will explore how Sam Wilson takes on the mantle of Captain America in a world that's still reeling from the effects of the blip. It's a narrative that could delve into this connection with the Avengers or what's left of the superhero team after the cataclysmic events of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. In July 2022, the film found its director in Julius Owner, known for the Cloverfield Paradox. In the D23 Expo in September, Kevin Feige, the head honcho of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, made a big announcement by confirming that Tim Blake Nelson, known for his role in The Incredible Hulk, would be returning as the leader. Additionally, in the weeks following the expo, Disney finally confirmed a long-standing rumour that legendary actor Harrison Ford would be stepping into the shoes of the late William Hurt to portray the recurring MCU character Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross. In a fascinating twist, it was revealed in February 2023 that Ross's character would hold the highest office, becoming the President of the United States within the film's storyline. And the surprises didn't end there. The following month, Liv Tyler, who last played Betty Ross in 2008's The Incredible Hulk, signed on to reprise her role as Ross's daughter. Thunderbolts, December 20th, 2024. In a surprising turn of events, back in June 2022, Deadline reported that Jake Schreer, known for Robot and Frank, would be directing a Thunderbolts film. This project caught many fans off guard, adding an element of unexpected excitement. Initially, Eric Pearson was working on the script, based on the Marvel team of anti-heroes, but come March 2023, the creator of Thief, Lee Sung Jin, took over the script writing duties. For those unfamiliar with the Thunderbolt from the comic books, the original premise revolved around Baron Zemo assembling a group of villains to pose as a superhero team and, in a plot twist, ultimately replace the Avengers. As the story progressed, the Thunderbolts revealed a more morally flexible side. 
During the D23 Expo in September 2023, Kevin Feige unveiled a roster for the Thunderbolts team, which included characters like Contessa, Valentina Allegra de la Fontaine, Ghost played by Hannah John Kamen, Red Guardian played by David Harbour, Yelena Belova played by Florence Pugh, Bucky Barnes played by Sebastian Stan, US Agent played by Wyatt Russell, and Taskmaster played by Olga Kirilenko. Additionally, Harrison Ford was confirmed to appear as Thaddeus Ross, Blade February 14th, 2025. Back in 2019, Kevin Feige surprised everyone at Comic-Con by announcing that Marshala Ali will be taking on the role of Blade in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. While many details about the film were still in flux, some aspects were starting to take shape. Stacey Osei Kufour was brought on board to write the project, and Feige revealed that the film will carry a PG-13 rating. In July 2021, news circulated that Basim Tariq was set to direct the film. Then, in November 2021, Delroy Lindo was revealed as a second cast member, though his character remained a mystery. Speculation arose that he might be portraying Jamal Afari, Blade's mentor in the comics, who had been transformed into Whistler in the first Blade film trilogy. The following February, Aaron Pierre joined the cast in an undisclosed role. However, the departure of Tariq in the fall of 2022 caused delays not only for Blade but also for several other projects in the production calendar. Later that year, Jan Demange, known for Lovecraft Country, emerged as a new director, with Michael Starbury penning a fresh script. In April 2023, Mia Goth was added to the cast, and during the same month, Nick Pizzolato, the creator of True Detective, took on writing duties. Production was initially expected to commence in late May, however the Writers Guild strike, which began on May 2nd, left the status of Pizzolato's script and the commencement of production uncertain. Fantastic Four, May 2nd, 2025. At the 2019 Comic-Con, Kevin Feige briefly touched on the topics of the Fantastic Four and Mutants, mentioning that he had run out of time to delve into them. However, he made it clear that both of these concepts were on the horizon for the MCU. It was widely anticipated that introducing Marvel's first family, the Fantastic Four, would take precedence. An intriguing theory circulating on the internet suggested that the film could be set in the 1960s with a unique twist. The world would somehow forget about their existence for decades. This clever approach would not only serve as a fantastic way to introduce the characters, but also acknowledge their absence in the MCU for all these years. Moreover, it provided a perfect opportunity to fill the void left by the similarly time-lost Steve Rogers. In December 2020, Marvel made an announcement that John Watts, known for directing Spider-Man Far From Home, would be at the helm of the Fantastic Four project. However, this excitement was short-lived as just a week or so before John Krasinski was set to make a cameo as Reed Richards in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, Watts departed from the project. Many fans had hoped that Krasinski might direct the movie, but he didn't appear at the 2022 Comic-Con presentation. Fage shared limited information about the film beyond its release date and its status as the Phase 6 opener. And there you have it, with sequels, new heroes, and thrilling storylines, the MCU is showing no signs of slowing down. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for joining us today and we'll catch you in the next one.